Well, the Hartford boys basketball team was in dire need of a victory last night, with just four wins heading into tip-off, and only seven games separating the team from the end of the regular season. And though it was the Hurricanes who headed into the contest with just one win in its last seven games, it was the home team who was hot early, shooting its way to a nine-point lead after one thanks to the play of Hunter Perkins, seen here, and junior guard Kevin Farnsworth. Mill River refused to throw in the towel, though, and cut the deficits just four by the start of the final quarter. But when all was said and done, Hartford's full-court defense and dominance on the glass proved too much in the end, leaving the Hurricanes to celebrate a 53-44 victory. Farnsworth led all scorers with 16 points, including four three-pointers, while Chris Nulty also finished in double figures with 14 points. I caught up with Farnsworth after the game to ask about his team's success rebounding and what this win will do for his team going forward. So that was Wicked Bay. Connor Perkins and Bryce Landon, they do a lot of our rebounding work. Chris Nolte also. Um, they're big on the rebounding side. Don't really score as much, but they're definitely a big part of the team in that way. And only six games left in the regular season. You know, are you guys going to be able to build off this momentum and get some more wins coming toward the end of the season? Yeah, that's what we're hoping. We're hoping to go on a nice winning streak and um, go in strong playoffs time. So. The Hurricanes will try and win their second straight game tomorrow when they travel to face Springfield. And now taking a look at the YCN scoreboard, Isaiah Chappelle hit a pair of clutch free throws with time winding down last night to give the Sunapee boys basketball team just enough to edge winless Newport. Matt Tenney led the Lakers with 18 points, followed by Chappelle with 17. Down in Penacook, the Hanover boys battled back from a 14-point first quarter deficit to beat Merrimack Valley last night while Mascoma rattled off a fourth straight win behind a 21-point performance from Alex Schwartz to improve to 5-4. Brattleboro handed Woodstock its second loss in its last eight games behind a 28-point effort from Eli Lombardi. On the girls' side, it was a tough night on the Harwood as Stevens, Hanover, and Lebanon all came up short in their respective matchups. For Lebanon, the loss was the team's first of the season after a perfect 8-0 start. On the ice, the Hanover girls had no trouble keeping its unbeaten season intact, notching 10 goals in its win over Bishop Girton, with help from two goal efforts from both Maddie Hartman and Eliza Laycock. That does it for YCN Sports, brought to you by La Valley Building Supply. I'm Mike Pizzone.